Hello. Today, we're going to take an in-depth look at what we think is one of the more exciting things to happen to email since the introduction of Gmail, which is the inbox by Gmail email interface. So today, we're going to cover some of the main features of inbox. Remember that this is not designed to be a complete replacement for Gmail. For some of you, it may work that way. For others, it may be a tool you can use sparingly or moderately. The idea behind Inbox is to give a lot more attention to the emails that are important to you and group the messages that may be a little less important so you can access them whenever you have time. You can see right away that my Inbox looks very different than what you're used to in Gmail. All of my messages from today are grouped into this section up here at the top and are then chronologically grouped below. You can also see in this top section that I have messages clustered into different groups. Inbox categorizes and groups certain types of messages together, like this. When I have grouped messages, I can scroll through them in order to see what messages are nested there. The plus button down here has some relation to the compose button in Gmail, but it's a little more complex than that. For instance, when I click on it, I will see recent contacts that I have sent messages to. I can just click on one of them and start composing a message right away. Or, I can use this icon, which is the reminder icon, which allows me to create a quick reminder to complete a task, such as email marketing department, and then set a time for that task. In the inbox here, you'll see that if I hover over a message, I can take actions on it without having to open the message. I can pin the message if I want to retain easy access to it. I can snooze it with this icon if I don't have time to handle it right now or I can hit done to say that I have addressed whatever was contained within the email. Here's a message that I've pinned, but now if I mark it as done, it will no longer be pinned and moved somewhere else. If you want to see all your pinned messages, you can use this toggle up here to flip over to the pinned view where you can see your most important messages. You can also take mass action on a group of messages. So say I have this entire category of messages here and I no longer need them. I can click this icon and sweep the messages, marking them all as done at once. Now let's open up the menu in the top left here. You can see the primary sections of my inbox, such as Inbox, Snoozed, Done, and familiar email folders like Drafts, Trash, and Spam. Now these bundles are how Inbox groups together certain types of messages, using these categories here. So if I click on one of my categories, you'll be taken to a view that only shows those types of messages. You can also create a custom bundle to group together certain types of messages that you might receive a lot of. So I can click on Create New, and if I want to create a bundle for messages from the video account, I just do this. I can save this, then add conditions to make sure messages are added to the bundle. So I'll click Add, and then enter that account into the From box. When I click on Save, any messages from the video account will now be saved into this bundle. Finally, just a word about the icons at the top of the screen here, which should be largely familiar to you. The search bar applies Google Search to your inbox, and you can access your other apps over here. Hopefully you found this overview of Inbox by Gmail helpful. As I mentioned, this is not a blanket replacement for Gmail but it is a time-saving tool if you need to prioritize certain messages and want to speed up how you process email. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.